First of all, before we go to it backwards and before we show the bootleg, I want to open it up and I want to show you what it looks like on the inside of Stairway to Heaven. And what you see is a woman. Yeah, right here. See her? Yeah, this guy has good vision. And she's climbing a mountain. Does it look like it leads to heaven? Looks like it leads to outer darkness to me. This is fake news. It is to heaven. Look. See that? That's the Star of David right there. Oh, by the way, yes, I got bit by the spider and now I'm suffering the consequences from it. It's a nice turntable. What kind of music do you hear? I hear Led Zeppelin. And guess what? I was a Led Zeppelin fanatic. He was a Led Zeppelin fan. What happened? If, I mean, if this guy wasn't in the suit and tie, I would, I'd picture him in a, in a mosh pit. You know, but I don't know when, how old this video is, but it looks pretty old school. Looks like it was converted from VHS. <laughs> What's a VHS? You're too young. And I had no idea because I was blinded. Because people are being blinded by this, you guys. But I've been set free by the Lord Jesus Christ who breaks these chains of deception. He's blinded then, or is he blinded now? I don't know, he, I mean, it seems like he can, he's making eye contact with the people, so. And you can be set free too. In fact, uh, we said oh, earlier. Whoa, 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 back up, back up. He just touched, oh, that you can't, you shouldn't do that. He just touched the grooves with his fingertips. Oh, you're not supposed to pick up a record like that. That's his generation, he should know better, better. <laughs> We're talking about a song that wasn't engineered to be heard backwards. Okay, if it's not engineered to be heard backwards, then why are you listening to it backwards? But came right from the spirit world automatically. Came from the spirit world? I don't think so. Let's look it up. Led Zeppelin 4, 1971. Wikipedia. Did it come from the spirit world? Let's see. No, it did not. It came from London. I'm sorry, all you Brits out there. <laughs> you guys are the devil, devil, devil! against it, and what destroys it more is the lyric forward often has everything to do with the lyric backwards. He's holding it totally wrong. Oh, he's turning it backwards. You're not supposed to do that either. This guy, what is he doing? Raise your hand if you heard anything right away. I heard, I heard something backwards. Forward. You are still And your stairway lies on the whispering wind. Backwards it says, because I live with Satan. Listen carefully. Raise your hands if you heard that. <laughs> That's actually really cool. I mean, I'm, it was, I'm, it must have been, a, it must be a coincidence. But that's, the, I, I think that's cool. <laughs> Her stairway lies in the whispering wind. Dear lady, just like the Led Zeppelin fans, because they, because their power is Satan. They live with Satan. That's their, that's who empowers them. And they're following Led Zeppelin. They're really following Satan. I mean, to be honest, I thought this video was a joke. I thought it was just, uh, like, just, just for fun, just get some guy fooling around. But no, this guy's, this guy is, he's for real. And the people watching it apparently are, uh, are fanboys of him. <laughs> Led Zeppelin were just four puppets. Satan could have used any four and formed Led Zeppelin. It was Satan's music. They're not puppets. It's not Satan's music. It is not Satan's music. Totally BS. It is the music of John Paul Jones, John Bonham, Robert Plant, and Jimmy Page. They're not Satan. Look at Jimmy Page from, from way back then. Look how pengy he was. You think that's Satan? No way. Or how about Robert Plant? Mm. I'm straight, by the way. <laughs> that's, all, that's been said before. All right, continue. Backwards it says, the Lord turned me off. I mean, if, if he didn't say what it was that you were going to hear before you actually heard it, um, it just sounds kind of gibberish. Um, but he, he, he biases you by, by telling you what it says. You know, and there's, there's, so much, I mean, there's so much stuff that doesn't even make sense anyway. And I mean, this, this happens a lot. If you play stuff backwards, yeah, you'll, you'll, find, you'll find some weird stuff. Like, I remember years ago I watched a video on Dora the Explorer backwards. Someone figured out. <laughs> I don't know, like people just reverse stuff and then maybe if they're high or something just fooling around or maybe they hear it when they're high and then backwards. Can people do that? I don't know. 
There was this one girl though, she could speak backwards, like she pictured the letters but but written backwards and she would pronounce it like how it was. It was crazy. And it's just it came to her and just like that. Chevrolet. A telerevic. Fireworks. Scrowerith. Savings. Skinavaz. Gallon. Nolag. Download. Day all in one. Lamborghini. Huh? Lamborghini. In our rugby mount. Yeah, pretty cool. But this is something also, this is not right. The guy on the left. I like his sweater, very cute. You'd have to turn your ears off not, to not hear it, okay? It's really obvious what's going on here. How do you turn your ears off? Oh, if you're old, a little older, I guess, sure. Now, there is an escape. It says there's no escaping it. There is an escape, and that's Jesus Christ. Dang, this guy, this guy's so smooth. Look at that. That's how you win an audience. Don't drink the Kool-Aid. Remember that, kids. Don't drink the Kool-Aid if a man tells you so. Oh, whoa, whoa, check out my shirt. Green Day. I know, Zach, when are we gonna see a Green Day concert? Um, that's cool, it's a blimp. That's also a Led Zeppelin. Okay, that's random, okay, continue. And just listen, and I'm gonna ask you to raise your hand if you heard something before I even say anything. Oh, he's not gonna say anything this time, okay. So he's not gonna bias us on, on what he thinks it says. Good, because I, I wanna use my own discretion, All right? My ears are on. Raise your hands if you heard anything. Of course, if you're not deaf, you always hear something. Unless if you're in a soundproof room. Backwards, they lift up, the demons lift up, because this isn't Led Zeppelin, this is spiritism, and spirits working through Robert Plant. <laughs> up the phloem, or the xylem, what the heck? You guys get that? No. Backwards, it says, here's to my sweet Satan. <laughs> it is a little convincing, but it's cool though, you know, it's all cool. That's awesome. I don't think it's freaky at all. I don't think it's some supernatural devil thing. I think that's the most clear of, of all. It's cool. It's just a coincidence. It has to be, right? Not much into my albums anymore, so. <laughs> he will give you, give you 666. Big deal. The mark of the beast will come out. People will take it on their right hand or their forehead. He's all talking about the Antichrist here. We're talking about a song, though. It's just a song. And it's play being played backwards. That's not fair. I mean, if you were to reverse some of my videos, I'm sure you'd find stuff. I mean, especially with songs, too. We're talking about millions of, of records and uh, artwork and, and lyrics to be played backwards by people who are high, uh, etc. I mean, there's just bound to be stuff like that that, that people can look for. You'll find anything if you look for it. Um, I think the, the, the strangest thing as far as records go um, would be this album right here, uh, Super Tramp Breakfast in America. This record came out in 1979, Breakfast in America, and uh, it has Manhattan right there. But if you look above the Twin Towers, uh, where the UP is of Supertramp, if you reverse the image, it says 9-11, right? 1979, Breakfast in America, that's, that's when the towers were hit. It was Breakfast in America. Um, um, but it's, there, there's, no, there's no meaning to that. It's just a coincidence. That's, that's all it is. There's not some Illuminati type stuff, you know? Illuminati. I say Illuminati for brevity. But I think it's crazy, though. And I, I bet the people commenting on this video will probably agree with me. Uh, since it's on YouTube, people are a little bit more free-thinking, open-minded about that kind of stuff. I mean, there's no way people are going to be like, oh, wow, that is Satan. So what do we have here? When I was younger, I knew a little about some of this, but I overlooked it. Now I understand the fear of God and have left listening to rock and metal in favor of pursuing Jesus Christ more wholeheartedly. I can't pronounce heart wholeheartedly. I can't even, I can't talk. I wonder how many wars rock and roll started. Yes, thank you, thank you, Vinny. Demons are here in the comments, of course. They do not want their de evil devil. Ugh. They do not want their evil to be discovered. We he, he we we know. We who know, man, what the heck? We who know the wisdom of the verses don't really even. Don't really even to see. I give up. <laughs> Diego, 
Look at Dia. This is hilarious. Best comedy I've seen online in years. I love that. Unfortunately, this is uh, um, this is real. <laughs> He's not acting um, because this this guy has uh, a couple of documentaries out too about uh, talking about. He talks a lot about Black Sabbath, but I'll save that for. I love Black Sabbath. Love it. But like him or hate him, he's a very well-spoken guy. Um, I think I think he would be a really good used car salesman uh, or a preacher. I think these people are way too serious, though. Um, it's just it's just a song, right? It's just music. It's only a band. I mean, some of the music I listen to, I don't even pay attention to the lyrics half the time because I don't understand them. <laughs> and you don't know but with Led Zeppelin, I've noticed their vehicles offer a lot of solace. As with any songs, you know, lyrics lyrics are, are meant to really touch people. It's very therapeutic. Lyrics help people deal with very real and, and tough, hard problems in life um, that we would otherwise go through alone. Because we want to feel a connection. We as humans want to relate to one another, to get by tough times, you know. And the problem, I think, is, is people aren't very open to, to talk about things that they... And not just, just life isn't rainbows and sunshine. And people don't want to talk about the negative emotions that they're experiencing. And so subconsciously, they, they may feel that, that no one else is, is going through what their, their mind is going through. And so uh, they may feel alone and they'll probably be very hard on themselves um, because they'll have this misconception that everyone else's life is just fine. When it's not, you know, people just don't want to talk about that. But I, I, think, I think great artists in music, though, such as Led Zeppelin, um, they're different in that they're, they're open. And, and, you know, there are, a lot, there are tons of artists that, that do this. Um, you're more likely to hear about about tr true feelings from artists than you are other people. No sugarcoating life, no suppressing emotions like every person on the street does. And their lyrics exude real hard thoughts about what people deal with normally um, that you otherwise wouldn't hear from if it wasn't for a vinyl record, for instance. Music. Topics such as uh, depression, um, heartbreak, women cheating on you. It's to get people through these tough times. And you don't normally hear about people talking about that because who wants to talk about that? Right? It hurts, right? But with music, when there are lyrics that talk about feeling down, um, it's just this sense of relating to it. I mean, check this out. A lot of Led Zeppelin stuff is, is good. It, it's healthy for the mind, especially dealing with problems. Led Zeppelin has always been really big on heartbreak. Uh, Robert Plant probably had, has had some uh, traumatizing experiences. Um, but one song going to California, it, it, it's, really, it's really inspirational. Um, and it goes like this. Made up my mind to make a new start, going to California with an aching in my heart. Someone told me there's a girl out there with love in her eyes and flowers in her hair. Took my chances on a big jet plane. Never let them tell you that they're all the same. That's a different song on the same album. And ask yourself, why didn't the pastor pick and choose that song to make his message that Satan is behind this music? Because it's lovely, right? Un unless if you play it backwards, maybe. Don't give him any ideas. No. I mean, it's just so intellectual. Ride a white mare in the footsteps of dawn, trying to find a woman who's never, never, never been born. Telling myself it's not as hard, hard, hard as it seems. I mean, clearly outlining the mental struggle, something we all deal with, whatever that may be. Music is therapeutic through lyrics, so that when people listen to it, they can come to the realization that, yeah, I'm not insane. Someone else has been through this and has survived to articulate these, these terrible negative experiences. I mean, songs can help people deal with their depression. Um, if they're experiencing suicidal thoughts, it's just an outlet. It's an escape. I mean, just to know that you're not alone in, in whatever issue you're experiencing in life, whatever struggle that may be. I mean, lyrics that are open and real really hit home in, in the heart, and they make, they, they make the listener feel empowered. And true evil isn't with the songs at all. No way. No. The real evil is the people telling you that you can't listen to them.